Today, lawmakers in the Rochester City School District are celebrating Governor Kathy Hochul signing the Rochester School Modernization Plan. That's right. Leaders are saying this plan is nearly a half billion dollars for upgrades and improvements at city schools that will benefit students' learning. It also, it's also a significant work program for the city. Christian Garzon joining us now in studio with more on this. Christian. Well, Adam Alley, this is $475 million, lawmakers say, will be directly invested in students and education. The new law passed both state houses with the sponsorship of Senator Jeremy Cooney, Assemblyman Harry Bronson, and others. It's also being called one of the largest public works and job projects in Rochester's history. Bronson's saying for children to learn, they need to have an environment conducive to learning. This will bring air conditioning, heating, and added technology to many schools that lack those resources. And again, this is also a public works project. This will allow many local building traders to work on these structures. Bronson says workers will get good wages and benefits and stimulate the economy, in turn helping small businesses. The money, he says, will make a full circle back to all of us in various ways. School Board President Van White also spoke, saying to get to this point, Phase 3, it took a massive effort with many people playing roles and advocating for this law to get signed. When these school buildings reopen, countless students will begin an exciting new phase of their education because this phase, like the previous phase, will provide our students with access to safer, efficient, and more effective learning environments. I am incredibly proud that we got this done. Uh, for me, this was uh, my number one priority this year, having worked on it uh, in, in partnership with David Gant over the last couple of years, um, but knowing also uh, that our students needed these buildings to uh, be renovated uh, for their education and wanting there not to be a delay between phase two and phase three. So um, I'm incredibly proud uh, to, uh, to have been a part of this. And the lawmakers also said these improvements and upgrades will be done, quote, in a timely manner to benefit our children's education. Adam Alley, back to you. All right, Christian, thank you. We have more details on the Rochester School Modernization Plan, and you can find that right now if you go to rochesterfirst.com. Look for this story. When you click on it, you'll see a longer web article to learn more.